Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. We are in the process of creating a blogger template from scratch and uh, we have completed the design of the desktop version. So in this video, we will see how to create the mobile version of our website so that even the mobile users can have a great experience on our website. So for creating the mobile version, we'll be using media queries in CSS. So let's get started. Now this is how the mobile version should look. We can see that we have the logo on the top left and uh, then on the right we have this menu icon. We don't have all the menu items displayed over here. And when we click on this, all the menu items will be displayed on the screen. And then we can see we have some changes in the header section. We have a lot of space for the text and uh, the image is shifted to the right. And if you scroll down, we can see we have the latest blog post and it is kind of the same. And then we can see that we have the contact us section. So it is also almost the same. We have just a lesser width of all the fields. And uh, then we have the popular posts. So in our desktop version, we had all the popular posts displayed one next to the other, all the three in a row. But uh, here we can see every single post is on a different line. And then we have the footer. We also have a different layout for the footer. We have all the elements displayed one below the other. So these are the changes that we're going to make in uh, the mobile version of our website. So let's go to our VS code and let me just open this uh, with live server. So I'll just right click over here and click on open with live server. So this is our desktop version. We can see all the sections are designed properly. Now what we need to do is we need to remove this menu items from here when we are in the mobile version. And uh, we also need to remove this search icon from here. And in place of these two, we need to add the menu icon. So first of all, let's add the menu icon. So let's go over here and uh, let's go to the header section. Just after the search icon, I'll just create one more division and I'll give it a class of mobile menu icon. And in that I'll have an image. I already have exported an image with the name of menu icon.png. So here we can see the menu icon is being displayed. Now we don't want to display this menu icon when we are on a desktop version. So let's go to our style.css file and uh, here we'll just add a comment, hidden items. And here we'll type mobile menu icon. And we'll just type display of none. So it will not be displayed when we are on a desktop version. Now let's move to the mobile version. Right, so I have decreased the width of the browser window. So let's start styling the mobile version. We'll just add a comment, media queries. Now media queries are basically breakpoints uh, which you can add to your website. So you can set breakpoints for certain width of your browser window. Now to create a media query, you have to type at media and then in parenthesis, you can type max width or min width. Here we'll type max width of 600 pixels. Now what this does is that it checks whether the browser window has a width of 600 pixels or less. So since we have typed max width, it checks whether it is less than 600 pixels or not. And if it is more than that, then any style that we write over here will not be applied on the web page. But if it is less than 600 pixels, then everything we write over here will be applied to our website. So let's just test it out and we'll just type asterisk and we'll select everything and we'll just type display none. So now we can see that nothing is displayed on the screen because uh, we have set everything to display none. I'll just right click over here and click on inspect so that we can see the width of our browser window. Now just minimize this and on the right of your browser here you can see the width of the browser. So let me just increase the width of the browser. Here we can see width is 500 as of now. And if we move above 600 pixels, this style won't be applied. So let's increase the width of the browser. So here we can see when we are above 600 pixels, everything is working all right and we have all these styles applied. But when we are less than 600 pixels, all the styles inside this section will be applied. So we'll write all the CSS for the mobile version inside this block. First of all, let's add a comment. We'll type top nav. And uh, here we'll type top nav. And if you go to the HTML, we can see that in the top nav, we have this uh, nav in which we have all the menu items. So we'll just set the display of this nav to none. 
So we'll type top now, nav and display to none. Now we also need to hide the search icon and add the menu icon over here, but uh, we cannot see it right now. So first of all, let's style the header and uh, we'll uh, target the header wrapper division and we will set the width to 100% and we'll set the overflow to hidden so that everything outside this division will be hidden. So here we cannot see anything outside the header wrapper division. Now we had set the display of the hero to flex. So if you scroll up, we can see that uh, here we have the display of flex for the hero. But in our mobile version, we need to change that and we need to change it to block so that we can position everything correctly. So here we'll type header wrapper hero and uh, we'll set the display to block. And our structure has just collapsed, but uh, we'll just add some more styles and uh, make it work. So we'll set the height to 100 viewport height, first of all. And, uh, and now we'll style this image and uh, we'll set it to the right over here and we'll have a fixed position for this image. So let's type header wrapper hero, hero right. And we'll set the position relative to the hero. So for the hero, we will set position to relative. And now here we can type position absolute and we'll set the right to zero and uh, the top to zero. Now we'll set the height to 100% and uh, the width to 100 pixels. So here we can see the image. Now let's add some styles to the hero left. So we'll type header wrapper hero hero left and we'll give it a height of 100% of the parent and we'll set the display to flex so that uh, we can center it vertically first of all we'll set the flex direction to column so that we have the elements one below the other and we'll set the justify content to center and uh, we'll also decrease the left padding so we'll type padding left and we'll set it to 32 pixels I will also decrease the font size of this header for the mobile version. So let's type header wrapper hero h1 dot main heading and we we'll set the font size to 48 pixels and we'll also set a margin bottom of 12 pixels and this button has a full width as of now. So let's decrease the width. We'll type header wrapper a dot btn and we'll set the width to 160 pixels and text align to the center. All right now let's add the menu icon to the top right over here. But right now the problem is that we have set the width of the wrapper to 1152 pixels. So if you scroll up, we can see for the wrapper we have a width of 1152 pixels. Now for the mobile version, we will set the width to 100% of the browser. So here we'll just type wrapper and we'll set the width to 100% and we'll also set a padding of 0 for top and bottom and 16 pixels for left and right. All right, now we can see that the search icon is being displayed. We want to hide that. So let's also add the search icon over here. So we'll just type comma, top nav, search icon and we'll display the mobile menu icon. So we'll type top nav, mobile menu icon and we'll set the display to block. And when we hover over this, we want to have a different cursor. So we'll type cursor to pointer. So we can see that we have this different cursor over here. Now we can also briefly see uh, this uh, search bar displayed over here. So we can also hide that. So let's go to our index.html and uh, it is called search container. So let's hide that as well. Top nav search container. And uh, now we don't have the search container being displayed. Right, so that's it with the header section of our mobile version. Now let's scroll down and uh, here we can see the blog post section. Now it is looking almost just like we want it to look. We'll just decrease the height of this image. I'll just type blog post. And here I will type posts wrapper, blog post card, thumbnail image, arrow img. So this will select the thumbnail image. So if you go to the index.html, here we can see inside post wrapper we have the blog post card and then thumbnail image and in that we have this image right here. So let's set the height to 220 pixels. 
and I think that's all right for the height. Now let's decrease the font size of the title. So we'll type S3 post title and we'll set the font size to 32 pixels and margin top of 24 pixels. Now it's up to you if you want to decrease or increase the height of this post body. So if you want you can decrease the height a little bit but I'll just leave it as it is. And we can see all the blog posts are styled correctly. Now let's move on to the popular post section. So I'll just add a comment. Now for the popular post we have this division called popular post container. Now we can see we have this box shadow for the popular post container. But in our design we don't have any box shadow for the popular post because it is mobile version and it is just a waste of space. So let's remove the box shadow from here. So let's go to style.css. Here we will type popular post container and we'll set the box shadow to unset to remove the box shadow and we'll also set the padding to 16 pixels. Now inside popular post container we have this division called popular post and in that we have all the popular posts. So we have set the display of popular posts to flex so that all these elements are one next to the other. Now for the mobile version we'll change the direction of the flex. So we'll type popular post container popular posts and we'll set the flex direction to column. Right now all the posts are displayed one below the other. Now we'll also add some margins between these posts. So let's type popular posts, popular post and we'll set a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. All right, that's basically it with the popular post section. Now let's move on to the contact us section. Now even for the contact us section we don't want to have the box shadow. So let's remove that. So here we'll type contact container and we'll set the box shadow to unset and we'll also set a padding of 16 pixels and that's it with the contact us section. Now let's move on to the last section which is the footer. So let's type footer over here. Now if we take a look at the HTML we can see for the footer we have a division called footer container and in that we have the footer left, the footer center and the footer right. So we'll set the flex direction to column for the footer container as well. So let's type footer container and we'll type flex direction to column. Now let's target the footer center. So we'll type footer container, footer center and we'll text align everything to the center. So we'll type text align center and we'll also add a margin top of 60 pixels and we'll also set a margin bottom of 60 pixels. Now let's style the footer right. So we'll type footer container footer right and we'll text align it to the center. Now let's set this uh, social icons to the center. So for that we'll type footer container footer right social icons and we'll set the margin to 20 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right to bring it to the center and we'll also add a margin bottom of 60 pixels and that's it with the footer and uh, with this we have completed the mobile version of our website now the only thing we need to do is add the mobile menu items when we click on this menu button and uh, now we can take this one step forward and uh, design a version for the tablets so you can have a width of somewhere over here and you can make some changes to your design and then you can create a tablet version for your website as well so i leave that to you we'll just stick with the mobile version and the desktop version now in the next version i will show you how to add the mobile menu icons over here when you click on this you should have the mobile menu items displayed over here and uh, then from the next section we will start adding this design to our blogger template and uh, we'll create a dynamic template out of this design so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Bye.